The center of the Milky Way, about 26,000 light years from Earth, is a region quite complex that has been observed by some of the world's most powerful telescopes in different types of light. In here we show observations made by the NASA Chandra X-ray Observatory in 2009 of the center of the galaxy. The colors represent the energy of the X-rays, where low energy is in red, intermediate energy is in green, and high energy is in blue. The energy of the X-ray light is actually about 100 to 40,000 times the energy of the visible light. And in the center of the Milky Way, it is produced by a supermassive black hole, superheated clouds of gas, massive stars, neutron stars, and many more. Sagittarius A is actually the 4 million solar masses supermassive black hole that marks the center of the Milky Way galaxy and that was observed in 2022 by the Events Horizon Telescope. Sagittarius A East is next to it and this is a remnant of a supernova that exploded about 10,000 years ago. Sagittarius A West on the other side is a spiral-shaped structure of gas that might be falling towards Sagittarius A. The spiral shape can be more clearly seen in an image taken in radio with a very large Large array in New Mexico, which shows that the point source in the galactic center is surrounded by what appears to be a spiral arms of gas that orbit this object. Permeating the region is a diffuse haze of X-ray light from gas that has been heated to millions of degrees by winds from massive young stars, explosions of dying stars, and outflows powered by Sagittarius A. Also, the area around Sagittarius A contains several mysterious X-ray filaments. Some of these likely represent magnetic structures that are interacting with the streams of very energetic electrons that are produced by rapid spinning neutron stars something similar to the solar flares in our sun, but a larger scale. The two bright sources to the right and left of Sagittarius A, labeled as 1E, might be produced by binary objects, each containing a black hole or a neutron star. Also, there are many massive stars in the arch, and in a stellar cluster labeled as DB, this soon will produce more supernovas, neutron stars, and black holes. There is another supernova in this image called SNR 0.90.1. There are also hundreds of unnamed point-like sources that scientists think are solo neutron stars or white dwarfs, but that together light up the region. Finally, in the X-ray image, Sagittarius B2, B1, and C are regions of colder gas where stars are forming. These regions are normally difficult to be detected in X-rays, but the edges of these clouds had been heated, allowing Chandra to see their X-ray glow. The giant molecular cloud known as Sagittarius B2 North can better be seen in radio where red indicates a stronger radio emission while blue indicates weak emission. Another spectacular view of the galactic center was obtained by the Meerkat Radio Telescope in South Africa, which penetrated trace the intervening dust that obscures the view of this region at other wavelengths. These observations add all sorts of information about the activity going on in the galactic center. It shows the activity produced by the objects of with Chandra and compact forming regions together with large population of mysterious radio filaments. Here the Sagittarius B1 and B2 are bright because they're in radio we can see molecular gas forming stars. The high sensitivity of the Meerkat radio images allowed a group of astronomers to use the color to indicate the spectral slope of the emitted radio waves. The broad feature running vertically through the center of the image is a series of parallel radio filaments that follow the inner part of the radio bubbles, which might have been produced by very powerful events occurring a few million years ago, very near the Milky Way central black hole. Looking closer at this region reveals much more detail of the the chaotic complexity of the heart of the Milky Way. Further to the right, appearing as a large bubble, there is a, another supernova remnant G35910.5 that seems connected to the galactic plane, but the longest radio filament known as the snake. A close-up shows the mouse, which is actually a runaway pulse are possibly formed and ejected by the supernova event. Clearly, there is so much to learn from these images. Astronomers will continue using this and other new observations to shed more light into the mysteries of the galactic center.